Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, one of the questions that came through is about uh, the restore points created when we do Windows updates. And also there's um, another question that comes through with uh, the cumulative updates and the way they work. So I'm going to include these two questions in here. So first of all, we have cumulative updates that happen twice a month. We have the patch Tuesday updates, which is the second Tuesday of the month. And we have the bug fixes, which is usually the last week of the month. Now, you can ignore the bug fixes, and they will not appear on your machine, but they will be installed anyways with patch Tuesday. And this is, comes to the first question. If I remove a bug fixing update, then I'm not going to get it. Yes, you'll get it again because they are cumulative. It does say it. They add to each other. So the previous one needs to be there in order for the next one to be there. So the bug fixes need to be installed if you want to have the patch Tuesday the following month. They all add on to each other. So you will have them and you cannot prevent one from installing because they'll prevent all the rest of the future from installing. So uh, the second one, the second question is about restore points created. So if you type restore in your search, you see create a restore point. If you install them separately, yes, technically the um, restore points created are going to be twice. So you'll have a restore point created for the Windows update for the bug fixes and one for the patch Tuesday. So technically, yes, if you don't install the bug fixes and wait just for patch Tuesday, you'll have only one restore point every month created rather than two. For most, for the most part, if you have a lot of disk space, it doesn't really matter much because use disk space from the restore points doesn't change anything. It doesn't you know alter the speed of your computer or it's just dormant data. But you can control how much space is used, especially if maybe you're tight on space and you want to make sure that you don't use too much. So in the configure part, you can uh, change the maximum usage. There's a slider. That slider is what's going to decide how much space. And you're going to see here how much space you're allowing on your hard drive by playing with the slider. So the lowest usage is 1%, and that depends on the size of your computer's hard drive. Once that is done, you just apply it. That new number is going to be there. So you can lower that if you want, but if you have a lot of space, it doesn't matter. The uh, restore points can be deleted but by in, in bulk. Uh, so somebody was asking me if I delete one of the restore points. You can delete just one. You'll have to delete all of them. What you could do, um, and if you are worried about all the space used, you could, if you want, go and click the configure button, delete all the restore points, and once that is done, you can create a new restore point. This will be your uh, restore point from now on, and it will, of course, remove all the space taken by the other um, restore points if you wish to do so. But for the most part, like I said, if you have a lot of space on your hard drive, doesn't matter. Just leave it alone. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.